Next Tech AR Solutions is providing augmented reality solutions for businesses. And with me is the CEO and founder, Evan Gappelberg of Next Tech AR Solutions. So great to have you here, Evan. Great to be here, Jane. So now um, you're trading over the counter, right? So tell me about that. Um, what kind of exciting ventures do you have going right now? And how can somebody find your stock? Sure. So we're dual listed uh, in Canada uh, under the symbol NTAR and in the U.S. under the symbol NEXCF. Um, and, uh, you know, the stock is uh, pretty liquid, trades a couple hundred thousand shares a day. We're in the augmented reality space. Business is booming. We just ended uh, 2020 with uh, 20 million in revenue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, it is a hugely growing space for sure. Now, how did you get here? I know you have a really interesting kind of story about how you founded the company. Yeah. So, um, I mean, if you go all the way back, it started out with uh, taking uh, Take-Two Interactive Software Public. That was, you know, all the way back uh, in, in the 1990s. That was at $5 a share. Um, I, I brought in the seed capital. The stock right now is $205 a share. And the valuation back then was 30 million. It's now about 23 billion. And so my, my whole way of investing, and I've been an investor uh, my whole life uh, managing money, has been to look for multi-decade, multi-trillion dollar mega trends. And AR is part of the digital transformation, which is probably the biggest mega trend uh, that the world has ever experienced to date is, is, you know, this whole digital transformation. And so I look at uh, augmented reality as part of that. And if you think of uh, the digital transformation megatrend that's currently underway, uh, it's, it's being led by uh, 5G. I mean, a lot of people have really started to think of uh, this digital transformation as the fourth industrial revolution. And with technology evolving faster than ever, uh, you see in this revolution really being led by augmented reality, uh, AI, the internet of things, edge computing, cloud computing, and as I mentioned, 5G is kind of driving the adoption globally. And if you look at 5G over the next couple of years, you're gonna see an 11X adoption of 5G. And, and the way I look at this, uh, Jane, is that you know, there's a convergence of all of these technologies where they're becoming uh, ubiquitous. Uh, and this convergence really is, is stimulating a rapid market adoption environment similar to the internet in the 1990s. And uh, if you remember what happened then, um, you know, there was the creation of multi-billion dollar industries almost overnight. Yeah. And, and that's basically what I see happening with Next Tech, uh, where we're uniquely positioned to capitalize on this 5G installation. It's already underway in many con countries and, and, it, and there's this rapid rollout and expansion now and augmented reality, which is uh, the business we're in, participates in all of that. Mm -hmm. And you were a pioneer in the AR space. I mean, I feel like it's now starting to kind of get to the public consciousness, but you were a pioneer a few years back. Yeah, I decided um, I wanted to be the first publicly traded uh, augmented reality pure play. And so we went public in 2018. Uh, I was contacted by Google. They were kind of intrigued by the fact that we were kind of this small startup uh, that had already gone public. Also, Apple contacted me and, and they both kind of said, you know, hey, Evan, you know, glad to meet you, you know, nice to see that you've joined us because they, they've already been in the AR uh, space. Um, and, uh, you know, let, let's go on this ride together. And so um, it, it, it's actually kind of this like small community of AR pioneers. And yeah, we're super proud to be uh, really the first publicly traded pure play uh, AR company. And you also recently acquired an e-commerce company or an e-commerce entity. Tell me about that. Yeah, we, uh, we did. We acquired uh, an e-commerce business. I mean, if you think about, um, you know, the big tech companies, think about uh, um, Amazon. They own Whole Foods, mm -hmm. right? Which like you're thinking, well, it's an e-commerce, you know, juggernaut. 
why do they own an organic, uh, you know, food uh, company, right? And, and, you know, Amazon's got lots of, of uh, businesses. They basically use it as a sandbox to test, mm -hmm. to understand how people purchase goods offline. They, they know how people purchase goods online, but they want to know how people purchase goods offline. So Next Tech has basically taken a page out of Amazon's book where we're, we acquired an e-commerce business. It's growing very, very rapidly. And we use that e-com business as our sandbox to test our augmented reality for e-commerce site owners. So it's a way for us to bring new technology to market in our own sandbox, test it out, make sure you know it works, and then ultimately launch it to the bigger market that's that's out there, you know, basically sell it. So that's that's uh, super exciting for us. What do you think the future is for AR and e-commerce? The future is bright. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's certainly a lot of applications. There, there is. It's kind of like an endless array of applications. I get emails from our uh, investor base on a daily basis with another idea for an application with augmented reality. I, I see a world in the near term, meaning the next 12, 24 months, uh, where everybody's wearing AR glasses. Right now, everybody experiences AR through their phones, which is great. But imagine a world where AR is everywhere you look. And we're finally, the stars are aligning to kind of bring it all into reality with 5G and internet of things and all that. It's so augmented reality. So uh, fascinating, Evan. Thank you so much. And I look forward to getting an update soon as more technology comes out and the NASDAQ uh, listing comes through. So that will be very interesting. Absolutely. Thank you.